Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and welcome back to I'd Run That in a War, where you guys get to help choose my loadouts, and I have the opportunity to run them in a game. And it has been a long time since I have said those words, and unfortunately it's a bittersweet reintroduction because we do not have any brand new 2021 gameplay for you today, but in recent times I was going through some old stuff, and I found some old footage that would make for an I'd Run That in a War episode 21 Ish. I've done that before where I only had gameplay footage from one blaster loadout, and I figured it'd been long enough. Let's show it off to you guys, for better or for worse. Let's get back to the usual stuff. Sort of. Things have changed a little bit with me. I don't have a instruction wall anymore. This is just a green screen. That's weird. But let's talk about what my previous loadouts were for you guys to choose for me to use. The first one was actually what you guys selected. This was back in January 2020, so let's skip that one for now. Let's talk about the two I didn't get to, unfortunately. My second question was, which flywheel blaster should I field? The options were the Boomco Spin Sanity, the Dart Zone Destructor, the D-Dart Tempest, and the Worker Hurricane. And it was pretty close, but ultimately the D-Dart Tempest took this one. Now I had a fun idea with this, which probably would have been similar to the Worker Hurricane, was that I would use a stock version and then a modified version, because the stock version is not terrible, but it's obviously much lower rate of fire. And then you kick things up a notch with the modified version, which is just an absolute joy to use, and take that a step further, have two of them, uh, that would have made for some great gameplay footage. It would have been a terrible thing to have to reload, so I may have enlisted other people to help me with that, but at least for a couple seconds, just brrr, burp through everything. Burp. Ah. The third question I asked was, what's your favorite type of cat? Meow. The options were the jaguar, the panther, the tiger, or I'm more of a dog person. Now, obviously, those first three do have equivalents. They're, um... Busby blasters. Well, okay, that's not true. The Tiger's not a Busby blaster. Anyways, that's kind of what I was going for, but ultimately people did not bite on that one and they went with, I'm more of a dog person. So what is a dog blaster? Well, there are a few different ways to go about that one, aren't there? There's the Nerf dog ball launcher, isn't there? Which could launch a few different types of things like rockets or grenades, which are debatably safe for gameplay. There's also the Nerf Bulldog. That was also my potential use for that one. So uh, I kind of left it up in the air because I was gonna choose as the date got closer. And let's jump back to what did we actually get to use? The very first question I asked you, which has only room to expand a lot today, which 3D printed blaster should I field? And boy, do I feel dated looking at a 2020 list of this. The options were the Foxfire Talon, the Second Wind, Talon Claw, or the Whisper quite a very diverse range of blasters there. And again, there's just so many more I could have included nowadays too. But ultimately, the winner was the second win by Sea Yard Nerf. And I always want to say Breaking Wind because that's the new blaster I have from them, but this was their original Big Shock mod. And I did get to use it back in January, 2020. Take a look. All right, let's do the thing. They're right in, they're right there. There's some yeah, it's right there. Right there. Okay. I'm mobile this round, so I can actually help. Yay! Aha! <laughs> Accuracy, what's that? This thick foam will be the end of me. Was that a hit? Yeah, it was a hit. Oh gosh! Oh no! Gotcha. I'm pretty sure that hit me. Oh god! Oh gosh! There we go. Jeez. 
shoot. Well, I ain't getting that. Nice. Gotcha. Oh dear. Stick. That's game, that's game. Hopefully I still know how to edit gameplay footage. And that's all I've got for you today, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to the 500 people who voted in this previous survey. Things have changed a bit since my I'd Run That in a War series has kind of temporarily taken its hiatus. And YouTube has got their surveys, their polls on the community tab is a pretty prevalent option for getting feedback from viewers like you. And I've been debating on whether or not to use that going forward when games start up again and I try to relaunch I'd Run That in a War. But unfortunately, I'd have to post like three different options and they're all public so people can see what other people voted for and then they can change their votes so they can very much shift everything. Whereas now, the options are more secretive, so you don't know until I actually make the video or if you're actually at the event I go to. So I've been kind of weighing those options. And also, YouTube surveys get like twice the response I'd normally get from a Google survey where people have to click a link and then go into it. But there's more creative control. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys would think about that. And on the topic of games, they're so close to coming back. They're so close, but just a little while longer. And when that actually does happen, then I will create another survey however I want to and get it out to the people like you and you can tell me what blaster to use in a game because I got a lot that needs some action. Thank you everyone so much for watching once again and I will see you later. This thing with Stephens, man. Huh? This thing with Stephens. Yeah. Bamboos. I went two on one and one. We got it by one bottle. Uh, I forgot to rotate a couple times. Yeah. Josh, I pulled my tag. I felt it after you said hit.